In order to work on arcs and fillets and chamfers, we're going to create the silver goblet that you see on your screen. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at a few instructions. So we have some instructions for you over here. It's in the four step process. But we've got to create this sketch first before we can really do much of anything. Alright, so we've got it set up for a side by side. The first thing we'll do now is we'll go into Fusion, we'll start as a new design. And we'll start a new component. And the component, we can just call it, I'll call it Goblet. Alright, so we'll get into sketch mode. And I'm going to start on the origin. I'm going to take my line tool and just draw a line up that is four inches. And I'll take my line tool again. I guess while I'm up here, I might as well just come over here and do the two inches. There it is. And we'll take the line tool again, and we'll come down. It looks like a half inch. Now, I've already got my grid spacing set up to be a quarter inch. So every little grid space here, every square, is a quarter inch. To do that, you can go down here to grid and say grid settings. And by default, it's probably on adaptive. But if you go to fixed and you change your grid spacing to 0.25 and then your minor subdivisions to 1, you'll get that. That can kind of help us out. So now I'll go down to the bottom. And I'll take this line out, and it looks to me that that line is 2 inches. So I'm going to move the 2 out of the way so I can see a little bit better. Now I'm going to take that line tool and go up, and that's going to be a quarter inch, so 0.25. Take my line tool again, come over. Looks like in this direction, that is a 1.5. I'm going to take my line tool again, and this time I'm going to go up 1.5. Now from here, what we're going to do is use an arc to connect these two. So let's go up to create, and then there's the choice for arc. In this case, I'm going to use a three-point arc. So I'll click three-point arc in, click on one point, the second point, and the third point is the bend, how it bends out. Now right now, I'm just going to place it. You can see there is a dimension over here of three. So to dimension it, I'll click dimension, and I'll click on the arc. I'll place that dimension and I'll just say three. So now I'll click finish sketch. And I'll go ahead and close this uh, extra sketch out because we just don't need it anymore. So I'll just make the screen larger. Let's do a revolve here. And if I click on our vertical line we started with and then click OK. So we created the sketch. We just did that. Now it says create a quarter inch shell by selecting the top face of the cup. So let's deal with that. So up here is the shell tool. If you don't see shell, you can go to modify and all of the commands are there. So there's shell. So it should be up there. If not, there it is. We're going to click that top face and we're just going to say 0.25 and the shell is done. And I'll load it out. Alright, so let's see what our next step is. It says select the fillet tool and then click where the stem of the cup meets the base. Make the fillet 1.5 inches, so down here. So let's take a look at that. So here's fillet. Again, if fillet's not there, click modify, and there's fillet. There's also chamfer, which we're going to go to next. So here's fillet. Right down here is the base. I can drag that out. It said to make it 1.5. There's that. So that step's done. Now let's take a look at the final step. Select the chamfer tool and then click where the bottom of the bowl and the stem meet. Make the chamfer at 0.75. So let's, let's look at that too. So I'm going to have to orbit it. And this is the little edge I want to work on. My chamfer tool is here. If not, remember, modify and chamfer. So then we'll click there. And we'll bring that, I think it's said to be 0.75. So there we go. Now when we orbit this around, you can see we have the goblet. Now to apply the material appearance to it, we can go up here to the title of it, which right now is unsaved for me. And we can say physical material by right clicking on this and saying physical material. We do that. I've chosen metal. And I just moved it on down to silver. 
so there's silver. I'm going to click silver and drag it over to the cup, and now I can hit close. So the goblet is complete.